Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to predict the 2017-2018 New Orleans Pelicans offseason. Now, I don't know, is it New Orleans Pelicans or New Orleans or whatever it is, man? I don't know. I always say it wrong. People roast me in the uh, comments about it. So, I'm just going with the Pelicans for this video. If you guys could do me a quick favor and drop a like on this video if you enjoy my content. Um, basically, man, the objective of this offseason is to build around this right here, man. Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins. We all know DeMarcus Cousins was... Um, acquired by this team you know at the, around the trade deadline from the sacramento kings and i'm, I'm gonna say they, they didn't really like finish fantastic but i'm thinking having a whole entire offseason together and just having uh you know the general manager of this team being able to really build around these guys is going to be great now one thing i know about this team guys they not just the pelicans they the bitch ass pelicans because they got so many bitch ass contracts man i've never seen it this crazy before each one more you're gonna be on this team no more of that 26 million dollars um you also got solomon hill cool ass name bitch ass contract not gonna work for me man i mean if, you're, if your name could get buckets well you be damn kobe bryant out there um you also got alexis i mean that's not horrible but you only have 71 overall basic bitch i ain't gonna use you omar Sheik. Um, you, you Omar, a stink, dude. Like, you have not been good since the Bulls. I remember you actually playing on the Bulls, and you was a decent player. <laughs> then you scammed, uh, you know, you scammed them for, like, a, what was it, like, a $100 million contract or something like that? Didn't do nothing out there. I know you had probably had injuries, too. Also, this man, uh, Dantas Montaunas out there suing the Houston Rockets. I think he had some issue with his physical or something like that. It was actually, once upon a time, supposed to be a Detroit Piston. But, uh, let's get to this, my friends. Let's get to this out here. So, we actually do not have a draft pick. Um, the Pelicans, I think they went to the Kings or something like that. So we are going to skip right through that, go straight to rookie signings. We're not going to have no rookies out there, but that's what we're going to go to. And you know, man, like ideally, yeah, Markel Fultz would have been amazing for this team. Or, um, you know, somebody like that. I mean, uh, really, any good point guard out there. De'Aaron Fox would have been great, but just not an option for us. They, they decided to have DeMarcus Cousins instead, which is fine. Oh, okay, team player options. Dante Cunningham got a uh, $3 million. That's fine. That's not too much of a bitch-ass contract. Qualifying offers, nothing there. All right, before we do free agency, though. We got to shed this team, dog. We got to shed this team off here, man. Etoile Moore, just give me a draft pick. Just give me a draft pick for this boy. I don't want you anywhere near my team, dude. I really don't. Ooh, TJ McConnell's actually not too bad. Oh, um, come on, man. Just give me a draft pick. You know, Josh Richardson, I actually kind of like that, too. All right, I'll take the Utah Jazz. Top five protected. You take the boy, Solomon Hill. Maybe he'll help your team more than he can help mine. Um, we want Omar Sheik. He's got to be gone. I'll take that boy. Oh, go back to the Bulls, dude. You actually balled there, man. So there you go. You can back up Robin Lopez or something. Maybe even start. Who knows? Who knows where your career will go? Alexis got to go, too. Take that Clippers pick real quick. And Trey Finder. Also, Solomon Hill's also got to go, man. Besides that, the rest of the team's fine. Although, not a lot of... Uh, oh, shit, what did I just do? Not a ton of players actually left on this team. So, hopefully, free agency is good to us. I know there's some pretty decent players out there. All right, we are going to go to qualifying offers. Nothing there. My free agents. Uh, I know, like, Drew Holiday's one of them. So, let's just go to free agency. Alrighty, so first off, man, uh, I'm, I'm thinking with like with like a Drew Holiday. If I brought him on the team, it would be as a backup, or not as a backup. It would probably be as my shooting guard actually. If I was to uh, get one of these uh, these other better point guards out there, um, so ideally that would be nice. I don't know if that's going to be at all possible, but I am going to uh, offer him a contract as much as I can here. Actually, I don't offer him like too much, but I want to make sure I like get him back and not some other team freaking snipe him from me or something. So I offer him about 16.5. I'm sure I'm sure that's fine. Uh, Chris Paul is going to get a max contract. I know a lot of people want this man back on the Pelicans. Um, is it going to happen? Well, I don't know, man. Because I can see him going to a team like the Spurs or something like that. It's so hard to get him off this game, too. I'm not going to do a no, no trade clause. Because every single time I do, I feel like I still don't get him. So, I'm going to try that out. Kyle Lowry, another player, man. Like, a lot of people are talking about Kyle Lowry to the 76ers. How about we bring this all-star point guard to the Pelicans? Play with those two big guys out there? It would be nice. I think it would, I think that's like a picture-perfect fit, uh, fit right there. So he'd be good. A George Hill, uh, maybe for like a short-term deal, offer you some money. Jeff Teague, a sh uh, short-year deal, uh, term. All right, so they're all still thinking about it. All right, man, he offers. Chris Paul and Kyle Lowry is gone. Damn it, dude. That's the two players I wanted the most. Chris Paul back to the Clippers and uh, Kyle Lowry back to the Raptors. Well, good for them, I guess. All right, so hopefully we can uh, snag up three of these players here. Actually, if I can get George Hill and Jeff Teague, can I get both of those guys? Damn it. What about... All right, so I can grab... Okay, so I can grab Drew Holiday and one other point guard. So we got a Jeff Teague. Let's check out his stats here real quick. Um, he was an all-star point guard on the Hawks. You know, it's like he's good for about 15 for, uh, fifteen points out there. Eight assists. At least it was on Indiana. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Uh, shooting stats. Got that 79 open three. 92 mid-range shot. He's 6'2", 29. And we also got George Hill, who is a little bit of a better shooter. 6'3". I also think he's a bit of a better defender, too. Um, the only issue with him is that age is not on his side. You know, he's 31, so he's on the wrong side of 30, of course. 
score wise, it's like he's actually well, the assist game was down. He only had four assists out there. Watch, I want a guy that can feed these big guys out there. So yeah, I will say defensively probably a better choice, but uh, points wise and assist wise, Jeff Teague seems to have that on lockdown. So I think Jeff Teague is probably the better move. Feel free to disagree with me in the chat or in the uh, comments, I should say. So I'm gonna go with both of these guys. Just feels right. All right, small forward wise though. Um, Otto Porter, yeah, we're not gonna have a lot of money left here to do anything with these guys, but damn, dude, can I get like can I get like more contracts I can trade? If I can get like a Joe Inglis just for some shooting out there, that would be absolutely perfect. Like that's what I need. Damn, dude. I mean, that was a lot of money to throw at those guys. But like I said, we that's there was not a ton of offers out there. Um, yeah, if I can get rid of Quincy Pondex or just for like, uh, just a, cause, come on, man, just give me a draft pick. Just give me a draft pick. That's all I need. All right, I'll take that from the Boston Celtics and uh, see if there's anybody else I can get rid of here real quick. And yeah, Dante Cunningham, if we can get rid of him also. I thought that's what I just traded. Is that who I just traded? <laughs> Maybe not. All right, uh, free agency. Okay, so still not going to have enough for like a... Uh, like a Goran Hayward, nothing like that. Otto Porter, nope. Galinari, nope. Ingle Ooh, I'm just short. Damn it, dude. All right. So one more player's got to go. Who's it going to be, man? Tim Frazier, I don't want to get ready yet, but I guess you're only 73 overall. Just, if I, can, I just need a draft pick. Just need a draft pick. Come on, 2K. There we go. From the Atlanta Hawks. Man, we really shedding this team out there. That's what we got to do, though, man. It's like, we got our building blocks. Let's build around them. All right, trade finder. Oh, no, we want to do a free agency now. Free agency. I really want JoJo out there, man. I really want JoJo. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Join the team. I'm gonna give you. Eight. I'm gonna give you as much as I can too. I'm gonna give you not as much as I can, but that's actually nice, right? No, I'm gonna give as much as I can. Just get some minimum contract offers after that. I think. I think that's actually worth it. You got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew you was gonna say yes to that, boy. Guys, look at these shooting stats. Like, yeah, points per game wise wasn't amazing, but the efficiency is what I like to see out there. You only play 24 minutes a game. So uh, he has a 93 ball mid-range game, not great, but I just need him to sit out there on the corner and just spread the floor out for Anthony Davis and Marcus Cousins. I like this pickup. And actually, guys, his defense, um, his defense is actually probably his best, um, one of his best things, 84 on-ball defense IQ, so he's going to bring that out too at uh, the 6'8 height. So, yeah, definitely sign him up. And now we just want to go for maybe some minimum players. Uh, Sasha, how much money do you want, dude? All right, too much there. Uh, Nene, I'll get you on the team. Shabazz, probably want too much. JaVel McGee, why not? Put Nene at uh, power forward or something. Kyle Corver, bring some more shooting on this team. Zaza Rondo. Ooh, Rondo would actually be nice off the bench. Patty Mills also. Kelly Olenek. Maybe a, uh, I need like some bag of small forwards out here. Cephalo should be okay. Uh, what about a, I don't know, man. Not a lot of good, oh, let me go to small forwards. Let me just look at him here. Not a ton of offers left here. Kyle Anderson, he's okay, isn't he? Derek Williams, why not? All right, so Javel McGee, I'll bring him on. Uh, Rondo, Derek Williams, grab all those guys up. Kyle Corver, the Cavaliers, makes sense. Kyle Anderson, uh, Thabo Cephalosha. Yeah, I'd like to, ooh, I would like to get another, maybe another shooting guard out here. Jonathan Simmons would be nice. And also, let's look at some more power forwards. Uh, we got, yo, Terrence Jones? Ooh, too much. David West. I know that rain's probably going to start going down. Eugene Leon would be nice, too. Now that we can kind of shoot. All right, I'm just going to grab up all these players. I can't make some trades if I have to. And we want Yee, I'll grab him up. All right, that should be enough for players. Let's go to player progression, see how this is to us. Or how bad it is to us, I should say. Hopefully, nobody goes down too much. And, uh, okay, Rondo's down. Yeah, that's fine. He was going to be like a third-string point guard anyway. Cephalosha's down, not too much. Derek Williams down a little bit. Not absolutely horrible. Overall, man, the team's looking pretty good. And uh, we just got to make some adjustments to our start and lineup. But we got the defense. We got the offense out there. And actually getting two point guards around, you know, uh, two natural point guards and a Jeff Teague and a uh, Drew Holiday. Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting dynamic to work with Anthony Davis and Marcus Cousins. So, let's do this. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know, shooting-wise, Jeff Teague actually a little bit of a better shooter. 84 overall. Okay, I'd, I'd rather put Drew Holiday up and get him to an 80 overall than put Jeff Teague up and have him to an 84 overall the, than have him only at a 79. So, we're going to do that. Uh, let's go to this final star lineup right here. Not bad. It's not bad, guys. I like this. This is looking pretty good out here, man. It's looking pretty crispy. Um, let me take away these minutes from Anderson. Give those to Jonathan Simmons. Patty Mills can also play shooting guard if needed. No, actually, no, no, no. I do want, I do want Anderson with those minutes. I do want him at small forward position. I'll go with that. We got Yee out there. We got uh, Demarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, Javel McGee's out there balling too, man. This is good. I'm feeling this team. Although I got Jesse. I mean, Javel, you don't need that many minutes, dude. Like, look who you're playing behind. Did you only need that many minutes, dog? Um, watch you at about 33 minutes a game. Get you at about 30. Get you at about 30. Well, Anthony Davis, low key, guys, about 42 a game. Um, let's get DeMarcus at about 40 a game himself. We'll do that. All right, starting lineup's looking good, guys. 
I'm going to go ahead and simulate this season. I'm going to see just how good this New Orleans, this new New Orleans team can do, guys. Let's go. Okay, so the dynamic of this team that we put together absolutely worked out flawlessly. We finished with a record of 58-23, and 23, just behind the Golden State Warriors, which is just, like, crazy to think about, man. Uh, one more game against the Spurs here, simulate through date. All oh, the game doesn't matter too much, and we take a W by one point. Uh, bitch ass Durant MVP. Let's see if any of our... Oh, sure, I forgot to do the new rookies. That's fine. Didn't really need him anyway. Uh, Dwayne Wade, sixth man of the year. We got Andre Drummond, defensive player, and Kyle Quinn, most improved. But no, man, I'm looking for those uh, Pelicans up here, dude. Where's the Pelicans at? We got Anthony Davis. I don't see Boogie Cousins, though. All right, so Boogie Cousins didn't make it. That's fine, I suppose. Um, damn, dude, we are in, we are second seed in the playoffs. This is crazy from, like, not being a playoff team to this. Let's check out these player stats here real quick. So Anthony Davis leading scorer at about 24 points, 13 rebounds, getting the steals and blocks out there. DeMarcus Cousins, uh, 17 points, 10 rebounds, also playing the defense. But this is where our team absolutely shined, guys. The combination of Jeff Teague and Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday, the shooting guard position, worked out perfectly for us. Um, he just, like, really brought some good scoring at 13 a game. You also got Jeff Teague at the point guard position with a 16 a game. Um, the rebounds were pretty much neck and neck, assists neck and neck. It's like just having two solid good point guards in the backcourt. That's pretty much what it was. And uh, Joe Inglis out there, he didn't really like score a ton, but shooting wise, see how we did. Um, about 38% from three, so a little bit down from his, you know, last season with Utah Jazz, but still not too bad. I assume he played a lot more minutes too. Uh, bench play was absolutely fantastic for us. I'm just, I really like what we did with this team here, guys. It really just, uh, it, it seems to just like feel right. Like this feels like a good built team right here. And uh, hopefully, you know, yo Pelicans, if you need a, if you need a GM, hit me up, man. Hit me up, Crispy Flakes. You know my YouTube account. Or you can hit me up on Twitter at CrispyFlakes 2 k First round of the playoffs, we have the uh, OKC Thunder. See how we do there. Simulate current round. Let's get them. Let's get them. Let's get them. And, uh-oh. 2-1. Uh-oh. 3 oh No, god damn, dude. Oh, my God. Fucking, boy, fucking. What's that? 2-1 lead? Oh, my God, dude. That's, that's, that pisses me off so much, man. I finished with 58 wins on the season. And I'm going to freaking lose to the 7th seed in the first round. We freaking choked, dude. Oh, my God. Freaking pel... What do Pelicans eat fish? Y'all just y'all just freaking choke on a big old 30 inch bitch ass fish, dude. That's what you just did, Pelicans. Oh my god. Absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Man, Russell Westbrook has killed us out there. Damn, dude. Game how game one go? Game one, beastly game from Anthony Davis. Game two, beastly game from Demarcus Cousins. Game three, Russell Westbrook went freaking off on us. Oh my god. Damn, dude. I was. Guys, I, I honestly felt in my heart, my crispy heart, that I was at least going to get this team to the second or third round. But all right, man, we didn't make it that far. But overall, I think uh, Pelicans fans would be pretty happy if this is how their team turned out. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, some sort of these moves happen. Personally, the man Jeff Teague on the Pelicans seems kind of cool. I'd like to see maybe a Chris Paul or Kyle Lowry. We'll see how that all goes. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like on this video and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.